So Dallas Fuel will be on the attack first. Mickey on the Reaper for the moment. I think that one might get swapped up as uh, is Custa on the Moira. Yeah, there's the Zenyatta. I am curious, though, if they're going to keep Mickey on that. You'd think he'd swap to the Diva. I'll be surprised if that doesn't happen. There we go, yeah. That's nice a pretty typical defense. Starting off on top of the building right now. Taimu going to look for some early picks here. Mickey going to come up on top of the building, but immediately gets surrounded by players from the Outlaws and D-Mech. That's right, Taimu looking for those shots. There is no counter Widowmaker from Lynxer just yet, but I would imagine that's going to pop up later in this match. Taimu looking for another shot. Ooh, nearly finds one on Arrakis on that Zenyatta. And so far, Lynx are taking down Coco, so a little bit of a scattered attack already. And yeah, Lynx are, yeah, he may not be on the counter Widow, but he's certainly making his presence felt on Tracer right now. A pretty sloppy attack from the Dallas Fuel for Mickey to go up onto the high ground alone. You often see uh, Winston and Diva camping there, and they also had Lynx on the Tracer up top. So he needs a little bit more protection from his supports and also from Coco on that Winston if he wants to go up ahead and take that high ground. So right. more measured approach now going to come around on the low ground on the far side of the cart. That's right. So they do manage to force Cool Matt back into the stairs. He's on the run. Mickey chasing him down. They have that defense matrix to try to keep him up, but it's a little bit risky there for the moment. Meanwhile, Lynx are still harassing from behind, but overall that payload's moving a little bit forward. Oh, but just as soon as I say it, Jake pops attack visor, and they've got enough angles on Dallas Fuel that they'll be able to stop the payload cold again. Yeah, only a couple of ultimates used, so great use of that ult economy from the Houston Outlaws. They're not over committing, and Jake got attack visor pretty quickly there because he's been relatively unopposed firing from that high ground. Well, let's watch this one again from Linkser's perspective here. It was just one of the many things that Dallas had to worry about on this attack. Nice stick on the chips there on that Mercy, but the thing is, is what Houston has done a great job of is kind of surrounding the Dallas Fuel. They're coming at him from a lot of different angles, and they don't, it seems like Dallas is just having a hard time deciding where to dive. Uh, Linkser also is shutting down the flank, as we saw from Effect, and still managing to deal some damage to the front line. Uh, Rock is a bit premature with the uh, Transcendence. Taimu chased all the way back uh -oh. to the spot. Uh -oh. Will be able to heal his way up just barely. Yeah, barely survived. That was a good dive with the uh, Tracer and the Winston to force him away, and you know, they've done a good job, too, as we see Coco fall of staying out of the line of sight for Taimu. Taimu just hasn't had a lot of options for shots. Chip's having to pop that Valkyrie here just to bring a couple people back up again, but that payload is still not moving too much. Uh, this is one of Ooh, those times hurts. where you start to wonder whether Taimu needs to switch over to the McCree to help deal with Linkser because he I is think he does. just running oh, around oh, oh, right now. Oh, the disrespect Pulse Bomb, man, just coming in from behind. You did not see that a lot. That was a style move from Linkser right there. That was beautiful. He's yeah. been uh, really doing an excellent job of taking out the supports and now even finding Taimu on the Widowmaker so far. Mickey, though, going to get a D-Mech and a kill for himself. So they are still managing to move the payload slowly forward. Okay, and there we go to Taimu after that moment swaps to McCree. I think it's about time. Meanwhile, despite being shorthanded, as you can see, the rest of his team winning that fight, getting that payload moving a bit more. Linkser tries to go for the delay. He falls early. Transcendence coming in after that as they go on the attack. But Taimu right there with the McCree, and he is... Uh, Looking, well, he was in a good position, and then he walked really far up, so never mind. <laughs> uh, this still fight is still eventually going to be won by the fuel. So. Uh, good stall, though. Not sure if they needed to use that transcendence in order to keep that payload from moving. They may have wanted that coming up on the next point because they're, they will be bereft of support ultimates, and yeah. Dallas is going to have a lot to push through on point B. I, w I wasn't watching the health bars too closely, but it could be that you know either Coco or Mickey got low, and sometimes you pop that transcendence just to keep the tanks alive because you need that big HP presence on the uh, payload to take it. Now, effect now up on the high ground, looking for a flank. Nobody coming up yet. Links are now on that Widowmaker, and the Widow duels have commenced, but Cool Matt oh. will be the one flanking Taimu and taking him down. Cool Matt dishonorably inserting himself into the Sacred Widow duel. Taimu having to duck, watching out. Oh, and there it is, Cool Matt helping out again. <laughs> stealing cool all the kills, man. Cool Matt stealing all the glory, but in the right place, and that's helping out his team, and that's going to be the Dallas Fuel forced all the way back towards their spawn.
thing you can kind of kind of do too as a diva is you can sort of sit behind your widowmaker and just put the defense matrix over her shoulders. So that kind of uh, definitely tips a widow duel in the favor of the widowmaker that has the diva behind them. Yeah, definitely does. Cool mat now, yeah. looking for an angle here. Effect does take down Linkster, so currently a man advantage until that resurrect comes through from Boink and Cool Mat will be chased around and off the map. He can get back on with the uh, charge, so he'll be okay for the moment. Getting a little bit low HP, but overall, Houston managing to separate a lot of the members on Dallas. Time who kind of caught on his own in this hallway. Oh, and Mickey comes in just a tiny bit too late, but the fight was over for a while already. That was clean up, and it looks like Dallas is going to have to reset again. Yeah, Mickey didn't have the HP to come in there and actually yeah. body block, so a uh, bit of a lost fight just to start things off, like you mentioned. And uh, take now a look at Linkser post resurrection. Ooh. All right. Well, Linkser yeah. is definitely winning these uh, Widow Duels for the moment. And they shut down the Valkyrie as well, so that was actually both support ults used in a du uh, an extended duration fight for Dallas, and they lost both of those engagements. So this is a big time for desperation right now. Mickey has to do work with this self-destruct. Now they tried to dive on the high ground. Linkster was there. They had the soldier up there too with Jake. But no kills resulting from that. The Widow Duel continues, and now Taimu striking back a little bit. Coco does fall, courtesy of Muma though. So one Winston out of the way. Taimu takes out Jake as well. So the DPS have been eliminated. Can Dallas put this into a push though? Maybe they can get it going in just a second here. Uh, Taimu now, the king of the high ground. Everybody trying to pile on top of the Winston shield. Linkster will come from the other direction and take out chips as well, back-to-back -back headshots. Yeah, Linkster's been doing so much work on this Widowmaker here. Now Dallas Field is really scrambling down to just 10 seconds remaining here, and that is just the right time for Jake to pop that tactical visor, finds Mickey hiding out, and I don't know if anyone from Dallas can even get back. Yeah, in fact, no, he finds with that Helix Jake. Rocket. This guy's game sense is just on the next level, man. He knew exactly where Effect was, and that Helix Rocket, I gotta say, in all of Overwatch, it's hard to find better Helix Rockets than Jake's. <laughs> yeah, Jake, uh... Jake really playing a nice game of hide and seek right there. Nobody yeah. able to escape him. That's not a game of hide and seek I want to play. <laughs> I do not want to play with Jake. If if there's rockets involved, count me out. Oh, that's a testament to the comms though that we see from the outlaws because knowing that effect was still somewhere near the payload and they had to play that game of hide and seek to make sure he wasn't going to blink onto the cart and stall out further. Uh, definitely good awareness as a team from the side of Houston. True enough. So. Dallas Fuel, disappointingly for them, only got one point on their attack run on Dorado. And on a map like this, you almost, you kind of expect to take point B. We don't see as many holds on this stage as we do on some other maps. So if you're Houston Outlaws, you're kind of feeling like you've got this one in the bag. Well, especially with how Linkster is playing. What a monstrous yeah. performance on both Tracer and the Widowmaker and consistently winning those duels against Taimu with one or two exceptions, but also the shutting down of Chips High and on the Mercy, causing a lot of problems for Dallas. And uh, they need to get better control of their ult economy as well. It's been yeah. a bit sloppy. That's the thing, more than anything else, compared to what we've seen in the past from this squad on the Dallas side, they just looked rusty, you know? They just looked like everything was just slightly off, a little bit out of tune, not on the same page, whatever you want to call it. but. It kind of looks like they need to get the ball rolling a little bit more. They need to get a little bit more cohesion here. And they've added a bunch of new members, too. Yeah. Uh, Custa being a part of this roster is one of the new players that they've signed to get some more depth. That's right. In for, uh, you would imagine, Harry Hook right now, who normally takes up that second support slot as a, uh, as a Lucio a lot of the time. Here we go. Links are coming out on the offensive Widowmaker this time around. Looking for shots. Doesn't find Taimu. The duel has begun. Taimu getting boosted, getting a little bit of healing in there, too. Oh, but here comes Effect. And yeah, you got to be worried. Effect is a great, great Tracer player. And so if you're in those Widow duels, you're always going to have to be uh, checking out the flanks. The Widow was merely a distraction, though, right. for Effect to uh, blink in and get the drop onto Linkster's Widowmaker. Mickey off on his own again. Isn't going to get desuited. Thanks a little bit of healing and the use of his defensive oh, matrix. Chips, chips yeah. is behind though, and that's the problem. If you overextend on that D.Va and the Mercy has to fly to you, you do end up in scenarios where your Mercy does get out of position and out of line of sight. Nice shot though by Jake. Well, we know he's a great Farah player. We saw that before. We saw it at, the, at uh, BlizzCon just a little while ago. Now bringing it back with the Houston Outlaws once more. 
Linkster looking for some more shots, took a chunk out of Taimu there again. But now keeping an eye out for effect again. I think it's a, it's a good adjustment there. Yeah, it's interesting to see both Linkster and Jake because they've probably been some of the most improved players over the course of Overwatch. Yeah, Taimu brought back up again, but Houston Outlaws getting all the kills here. Jake not even needing to use that barrage to find the kills on the Vara. Wow. Yeah, just uh, wiggling right there to make sure that he messes with his hitbox a little bit, didn't want to get shot out of midair. Yep. Now the payload has moved through the choke point. Jake getting some rockets on the other side. Barrage is ready for them. And we're going to have to see if Chips can get more use out of this Valkyrie. They should be able to move in and attempt a defense here. You know, behind all that fighting, Effect was actually doing a pretty good job of stalling the payload. So while they did take a pretty easy point A, it took a little bit longer than they were hoping it would. And there actually is no defense thanks to how far forward Houston is playing. Yeah. And this is a desperate situation now for the Dallas Fuels. Yes, they have many ultimates to dump into this fight, but they haven't forced very many out of Houston either. And it's still four and a half minutes. That is plenty of time. And there is no stall on the payload. Well, Dallas Fuel finally able to take that high ground, but now the dive comes in. Cool Matt jumping up there. Linkser finds the kill on Nokoko, and that self destruct is going to zone everybody out, if not kill them. And there goes Effect. So Houston Outlaws already kind of mitigating that a little bit. There were enough kills, though, on the other side that they had to pause for a moment, but now the payload is moving again. And the story of point B so far has just been Houston Outlaws doing a good job of not letting Dallas Fuel get set up on the high ground well enough. Yeah, Fuel had to push all the way back inside the point C just to make sure that they weren't going to get staggered. Yeah. And Linkser taking a very far back approach. Effect is hunting him. Coco's going to try and join in here. Wow, everything they've got is being put into killing Linkser right now. They're trying to do it. Jake manages to demech Mickey. Meanwhile, that payload is nearly there. They have to find a way to stop them right now. And all the focus was on Linkser, and look at that. Jake able to actually get up on the high ground and just free fire into Dallas pretty much unopposed. Uh, does get about 50% of his ult charge, but he's also in a risky situation. Muma is ready to jump to him if he should need some support, but here comes Effect, forced to be recall after getting put low by Jake's primary fire. Yeah. And he will try and get that long flank going again, it would appear. Sure enough. So just a few meters to go for Houston Outlaws to win this first map. Hulfbomb doesn't find any kills. Jake back on the hunt for effect and pretty much everybody else that enters the sites. I move on there as well. Meanwhile, Dallas has had a little bit of time to set up defensively here. Custa does go down. Good start for Houston Outlaws. Well, Valkyrie had to be used just to escape from Coco, but he yeah. doesn't die. So Boink gets himself topped off. And now Jake finally has worked his way up into the tactical visor. He's going to de suit Mickey, but not before the self-destruct comes through. However, uh, this is looking grim for the Dallas Fuel. Well, yeah, man. I mean, during all of that, Muma just got to go wild here and just take out whoever he wanted. And that's going to be, I would say, a pretty convincing win for the Houston Outlaws here in map one. Yeah, you can't say it any other way. That was a dominant showing from Houston. Yeah. And particularly from Linkser. And because of the focus that Fuel was putting on killing Linkser, there wasn't really much pressure on Jake at all. So uh, Jake got to deal a lot of damage pretty much unopposed off that high ground. You know, I think it all came down to execution. Houston Outlaws had that in spades, and we're going to go to a quick break and see if they can continue the, mo continue the momentum. English is my first language, by the way, guys. As we go into map two, don't go anywhere, guys. Overwatch League preseason will be right back after this.